Okay, this is going to be a, a pretty short video on uh, what I hope to be a simple fix for our faucets here in our kitchen. Um, sometimes we'll turn the water on, turn it off, kind of burp like that, and then it just drips. Um, it's been doing this for a while, and last week I thought, well, it's probably um, it's probably basically the guts of the single-handed faucet. Uh, this thing is called a cartridge. And so I went to Lowe's and Home Depot, ended up finding a replacement, put it in. I was like, great, I'm going to fix this. I think this was 12 bucks. And so bring it back home after I install it. And it continues to do that. So what I'm hoping the problem is, is going to be a simple diverter. Now the diverter is, uh, is basically hooked up underneath of underneath the sink and this helps the water to get to here what I think is happening somehow in here this is creating a backflow so when it kind of burps like that when the water comes on and that's no, not gonna do it but when it was kind of making that that noise I'm thinking there's some sort of backflow that's pulling air back down into the hose allowing it to come back and then it's trying to pressurize itself again and there the water drips. So bear with me. I'm gonna to try to get that fixed underneath of the sink and install the new diverter. Um, the part number for that, this is, I bought this off of Amazon. It says right on it, genuine factory part, but the part number is 9510390. Um, if you've got a uh, Fister, Price Fister uh, faucet, this is it. Uh, they make different styles of these for different other faucets. Uh, but I'll put the put the link in, uh, in the description on this particular part for this when you pick it up off of Amazon. So let's get to it. All right, I've got the underneath side of the sink cleaned out. I have the supply, the water supply turned off here. Um, for doing this, it's not necessary per se to turn the water off, but by turning the water off at um, the valves underneath the sink it allows you to relieve some of the pressure that's on um, basically the whole valve here and the lines that are that are coming up so you don't get a whole lot of water but here's what I'm gonna do because it's so hard to get a video underneath of here I will get a video of what I'm taking off I'll then take it off off of the off camera and then I'll show you um, once it's off and down I'll show you how to replace it from there it's very easy so um, if I could just use this one as an example for what I'm going to do really quickly. This is the new part. So this new part, up underneath the sink, this clip is basically stuck in here like this. And it's holding it on up underneath of the, uh, of the sink. So basically what I'm going to do, and I'll show you where it's at, but basically I'm going to use that screwdriver right there to pull this pin out and then once that pin is out this whole thing will release and then there's some quick connect um, fittings like this there's there's a hose that has the quick connect fitting on it on here and this and i'll show you how to remove those once we get it down so i'm going to show you where it's at on this sink again it's a single sink it's nothing like you know it doesn't have a divided sink where it would take up a, a double base this is very small so kind of working with confined, confined spaces. But this valve right here is the one that we're replacing. So I'm gonna remove that pin and then once I get it all down, I'll show you how to take these lines off. All right, got it down. Very easy again, just pull a little clip out and it comes down. You will get a little bit of water, but don't fear. It's not that big of a deal. So here's what we're going to do. These fittings are interesting in the fact that basically what you do is you pull this hose towards it as you're pushing this fitting, this gray fitting here, um, away. So let's see if I can just get in there close. You want to pull the hose this way while you have two fingers pushing on that. So let's do it this way. Yeah. So I'm going to push the hose. You saw it move. You can take two other fingers and just kind of push back and pull that off. So again, this, this fitting here, you wanna compress it as it pulls off. And then you'll have the same thing here 
on the bottom side, push them together, and then you push that gray, the gray piece. I'm just pushing it with two fingers up, and then you get your diverter off. So let's go ahead and stick that new one. I know the new one is black, the old one is gray. You can go ahead and push this right back down. And basically, you want to push it till it stops. Can't do it too hard or too far. Whoops. Reach back and got my other line. Put this line back on just the same way. Push it. Kind of pops in place. You can't push it too far or too hard. Just secure, make sure your fittings are secure. Once that's done, you put it right back up. And mine came with a new clip, a new pin. Put that back on, and then we'll try it out. So give me just a second to put it back up there. All right, the diverter, new diverter is on. The water has been turned back on downstairs our shutoff valves have been turned back on now the moment of truth so the whole reason i was doing this again from the beginning of the video uh, i replaced um, the ceramic cartridge because our faucet was leaking after you would shut it off it would leak for probably three to five seconds so by all you know quick and easy ways to do you know fix the faucet uh, i went and bought one of these 12 bucks and once I put it in, it continued to do it. So, we just replaced the diverter. So now, the moment of truth. I haven't turned this on, no fancy camera work or anything like that. Let's see if it works together. See if it's gonna do what it needs to do. Oh yeah. Hot water. I like it. Uh, before, what it would also do is once you had the water on and then you would use the sprayer, the water would still come out of the actual faucet. So let's see if that happens. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Much better pressure out of the sprayer as well. So, last thing to make sure of is to come back down with our flashlight underneath there's no that's not mold I promise it's just being scraped off from being wet um, no drips no nothing back there so all right that's it so price fister fister whatever you want to say uh, the total fix this was 11 or 12 dollars so this isn't a bad thing to replace um, but the diverter I think was nine from Amazon um, and I can send, I can put the link in the description for those parts. Again, this is very easy. I'm not a plumber. Uh, this is something that you can do on your own to keep you from having to go out and buy another $200 plus dollar faucet. So I hope that helps somebody uh, fix your leaking faucet. All right, really quick before I go, just a quick example here. This is the old diverter, and I was just curious. Um, just to see if it was faulty, if there was something that, I mean, I know the faucet is fixed. It's not dripping. It's not leaking like it was. Um, but I took this, this old diverter and I just decided to, this might be something that you can do before even buying a diverter just to see if this is your problem. So what I did, take this off and, um, you can actually, uh, take this off and we'll get close to the camera so that you can hear it. Take this off and just put your mouth around it and blow on it a little bit. It should not do that, in theory. Um, that's not a whole lot of pressure, but let's just go to the next one. Still doing it there. And then on the last, this, this end here, which this one goes to your sprayer. This one is labeled. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, that's for spray. Uh, I'm sorry, spray, valve, and spout. So if so we've done this one and we've done this one. That's leaking a little bit. So these, I think um, the, the, the the valve and the spout here, this one should have air coming through it. But the spray one shouldn't until you release the pressure on the spray nozzle itself. So if you want to self-diagnose this, this might be an easy way. Maybe if you're a plumber out there and you can tell me that what I just did was wrong, that's cool, uh, and I would appreciate that. But to me, that this from the, the little amount of, of pressure that my mouth, the PSI that my mouth can build up, 
I don't think, and I didn't try it on the new one, and I'm not taking it off to try it, um, but I don't think that you should be able to build up enough pressure to get some sort of air leaking through either way. So maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe that, that could be something that would help you diagnose um, your diverter and see if that's your problem. But I think that this here coming out here, this will allow air to pass through pretty easily. This one is the one for the sprayer. This one's the one that should hold pressure. So you can't, otherwise, in my mind, once you turn the water on at the spigot, water would come out uh, both the, the, the spout, it would come up this way because the water comes in here, and then it would come out the spout, and then when you would release the pressure to the, the sprayer, it would come out the sprayer. But if it's leaking and it's not doing its job, it would want to push water out both ways if this isn't holding the pressure it needs to. So. I don't know if that would help you, uh, but that might be an easy way for you to self-diagnose um, if your diverter is bad. Um, this spigot, I was looking at a new faucet for, for our kitchen, and I think to get something like this, it's like one of those uh, oil rub bronze deals, um, I think it's like 200 plus. I'm a cheap guy. I didn't pay for this. It was in here when we moved into the house, but this is nine bucks. This is an easy fix. So, uh, so yeah, I hope that helps somebody. Seriously, uh, that's that's what I'm what I'm trying to do is just to help people out. So, if this video is something that uh, that helped you, uh, just do me this favor: like it, subscribe to uh, to the channel. I'm gonna try to put more videos out there that help do simple things that could save you a lot of money in the long run and uh, keep your wife happy because no wife that I know of likes a leaky faucet. So there again, it's quick and easy. I think all together I'm in under 20 bucks or, or right at 20 bucks to fix a faucet. So hopefully this helps somebody and um, yeah, fix your faucet yourself. Don't call a plumber. Uh, it's a little too expensive. So yeah, hit the like and uh, subscribe if you want and that'd be, that'd be awesome. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Again, thanks again for watching.